of mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that. The defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the Ten. I'll see you when this is done. Will the Sky Clan stand tall after this? Our this? The title Marshal! This Must cool be... will honor the fallen marshals. And ordain new ones. Gala will strike soon. Mr. Kote, this thing's of course. Look, comrade. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Your blade be bright. Your enemy is mine. Thunder glider. Kikaro's defenders should be at the end of the stretch. We must hold. And look, we are not alone in this fight. It is Regala who bears the guilt for any blood spilled today. Focus on the machines. Take them down, 
and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above... Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. Demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! All who take down a machine! Shall be named Marsha. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did, and seize your glory.
Critical route.
Get to the weapon! If I can draw that thing close, open fire!
Finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Regala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. Stand. There, that console.
Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. The visions in the globe have changed. The words of the pen are going to be This is the vision that she could call us all the years ago. All of the visions have changed. And this is just... The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. All right. I need to get Aether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. Your spear you shall lead us. To get a full strike at his I could earn three Today will demand a sharpened. 
Aloy. Out in the field or relaxing at base. Joint Task Force 10 acted as one. Blood of the 10, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the Chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kavo. He was not counted among the dead. Which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. What made Kavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Kavo, it was probably a bit of both, and a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. So if Kavo didn't listen to you when he joined the rebels, what makes you think he will now? Kavo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen must. I just have to find him before it's too late. You said Kavo's your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield. But I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Kavo from following the trail of blood. If Kavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Kavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. You got some fresh ink. What'd you do? Honor and strength. Took down a ravager the last time I was out in the wilds. How could you manage that?
I see you, champion. Sit, please. If you walk by, you'll can. miss out on a good trade. Choosing the right rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your life out in the wilds, go northwest to Saltbite. The cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to knock or not. I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. Stay alert, soldier. Definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Keep this for a cook. Like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Focus acting up again. That's fine.
Okay. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still try to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. I have to go. I guess it's back to... reading. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. But with the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. How's, uh, training with Zell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. I'm guessing you've spoken with Katalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second, I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. 
Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zenith? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling to say the least, and heartbreaking, that such life should be bent on destroying ours. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but... reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. So... How does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with... Warriors like the Tanakh. By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru Plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. I 
couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the Chorus as soon as we returned. To demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. Aloy. We've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. So this Hephaestus, he's like uh, Gaia's own personal blacksmith. Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Error. Drone feed disconnected. Error. Drone offline. Error. Data missing. Error. Drone offline. Error. Drone feed disconnected.